No, I'm, I'm kind of going to a little, a little bit of a rave or a comment anyway, because uh, I, I, I have uh, responded to today's Guardian, page tw- 32, page 32, the education page, is on about um, adult education in general and sort of pop-up classes in cafes. Uh, Costa is mentioned. There are other cafes, uh, but they are, I think, very sensibly supporting uh, evening classes in their cafes. And there's various people uh, char- charging money in, my, in sev- several cases or linking it to other other projects and doing doing pop up classes, which is all fine. But when they when they go into the the detail on it. Um, there's no mention of the MOOC as such, but what they say is um, free or low-cost online courses, such as those offered by Stanford University in the US, are filling some of the gap, but dropout rates are high, often about 90%. That's what that's all they say about it, which I think is a bit... Um, well, it's not, it's not complete, and it might even be misleading, I, I would say. I say this because um, last couple of years, John and I have been to BET, the technology show in, in London, and this year I, I went with Chris, who who does the um, the Wild Show on a Thursday on Phonic um, between 10 and 12. And between us, we've, we have covered uh, technology because radio or communication through sound... Uh, is featured at BET and has something to do with the MOOC as well. Most, most MOOCs relate to YouTube, certainly, possibly SoundCloud. Other, other, other social media outlets are available and they, they all can sort of relate around a MOOC. And I, I think things, just as a matter of fact, are much further on than that. Um, there's obviously Harvard, MIT, they, they, which is not... I know that's two lots, but they seem to work together which is worth a mention, uh, but also um, FutureLearn, based and funded, based at, well, it's, the, the, I think the address is at, at somewhere near the British Library, King's Cross, is where you might get to meet them if you made an appointment and found the right door within the British Library. But the, it's, it's funded by the Open University, and I think it's doing, doing quite well. Uh, they consider they're in the top three when you go to their stand at, at BET. I think maybe they're, they're in the top five if you include the Chinese platforms. But anyway, top top five is, is pretty good for a UK global operation. And I, I think it's worth a mention. And I'm not quite sure why The Guardian does so little to report what a MOOC is or what's happening with them. It may be because gradually they've got their own evening courses um, which seem to be getting um, more and more various and publicised in different ways. A, wa- a walk around London, three three hours for forty nine pounds or something. I don't know. I think the Guardian should just level with us as to what they're what they're on about and what they're trying to do, um, because obviously online is getting stronger all the time, and it's going to have an effect on a news organisation and. Um, adult education or continuing education or post compulsory whatever you want to call it um, is changing as well and it isn't just listening to an expert in a face to face situation for four hours or half an hour or whatever the format is that they've come up with um, I think the MOOC has got, got a lot more to do with it anyway that's, that's, that, that's the end of my rave if, if John was here he would have moderated me I expect <laughs>